In this video, I'm going to show you a typical type of hazard that a driver might face on the road. So first of all, I'm going to play it in its entirety, and then we can look back at it um, in more detail so we can put a plan of action in place. So here it is. Now let's look at that situation again in more detail so you can be better prepared if you face a similar situation to this in the future. As I turn in here, it is very important not to focus on this area straight ahead all the time. Yes, be aware of it, but don't put all your focus there. You need to scan as much as possible. So be aware of any gaps in traffic, as you can see a little gap developing over here, and be aware of any gaps in the parked cars as well. For example, in this gap here in the parked cars, I can clearly see the front of a car trying to edge out, trying to creep out. So these gaps here should lead me to believe that there's a possibility that somebody could pull out because it appears that the car on the main road is letting the other car out onto the main road. And this is why you should not beckon anybody out because very often the recipient of the courteous act will often rush across the road without the proper observation as you've seen here. So if you see something like this, be aware of the nose of the car trying to get out. Be aware of the gap in traffic. Ease off the accelerator, if you're accelerating, and cover the brake just in case you need to press that brake. In this situation, you shouldn't be driving very fast anyway because the road is too small and there's too many parked cars. If you find yourself in a similar situation to this, make sure you ease off the accelerator if you are accelerating. Come over and cover the brake maybe brake slightly depending on the speed you're going but in fairness you shouldn't be going very fast on these roads anyway because there's parked cars and it's a tight road by the looks of it but anyway ease off the juice over to the brake get ready on the brake and this then can be the difference between braking firmly and hastily and reacting in a calm professional way ideally the driver should brake smoothly and react in an alert but a controlled way. And this can only be done by reading the entire road ahead and scanning the situation in front. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.